Concerns are mounting over the rising sea level on the Milnerton coast in Cape Town, which is being caused by global warming. The Milnerton coast is in danger of being swallowed by the ocean, and stormy weather has led to heavy erosion of parts of the beach. Well, we'll talk about this now and how the city is dealing with this with a mayoral committee member, Marion Nevo. She's in our Cape Town studios for us this evening. Marion, a very good evening to you. Thanks for your time this evening. Can you explain to us exactly what is happening uh, with regard to the high sea levels and what the threats that they're posing uh, is actually at the moment. Yes, uh, we are currently uh, within the changes and we need to adapt uh, through it. Uh, I think it's general knowledge that the climate has rise by one centigrade already and it's estimated that in the near future it will be 1.5 centigrade warmer than what we are uh, normally expected and that uh, stemmed then from the change in the wave directions and also uh, the sand blowing so we we really into climate change mm. as a reality now give us some idea uh, of which areas are worst affected by what you're seeing now Marion and, and, and what the impact of this is what's actually happening to these areas It depends from area to area, but remember we've got a coastline of 307 uh, kilometers, so mm. it stems from uh, specific uh, areas to areas, but in general it's the, the sand blowing, the uh, movement in dunes, the erosion, and then the directions of the, wa uh, the waves that have a different impact on the erosion of the coastal uh, uh, infrastructure as well as, as the hard bar barriers that mm. we've uh, already put in place. Um, places that are at risk at this stage is Mwabisi, uh, Big Bay, Bikini Bay, Mulnerton as you've mentioned, mm -hmm. Blauberg as well as Table View uh, which is on the list for emergency repairs and mm -hmm. uh, maintenance. What is the plan then Mary and I'm, and, and I'm guessing it's not a, a one-size-fits-all when it comes to a plan like you say the impact varies from area to area so where do you even start to, to cope and deal with this? Yeah, I think the city is now in the situation that we need to make some tough decision that will stem from either uh, decide to uh, maintain the hard surfaces like the seawall that uh, got the tendency of eroding on the, uh, the bottom of the seawall that uh, then lead to the collapse of the seawall but also then reinstatement of dune and also to, to guide pathways through the dunes and in general uh, acknowledge that we need, uh, need the dune system uh, to have part and parcel a place and role to play in our uh, resilience toward climate change mm. and also uh, curbing with uh, sea level rise. But in the end, uh, there are some places that we would have, uh, the recommendation would be that we in the end retrieve in totality where we'll, we uh, demolish current facilities like in Mwabisi and rebuild those facilities in more appropriate places where we can safeguard the facilities. So you're saying the plan is to move inhabitants, residents away, further away from the shore and move them further back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how in long? In general, yes. Uh, and then let the... Mm, and how long will, it, will, will a plan or will a project like that take, Marion? Uh, in some areas it would be uh, faster than uh, normal. If we take the situation currently in Mwabisi, uh, most of the uh, facilities is uh, almost uh, total cover, totally covered in sand already. So we will demolish and save, uh, make it safe and then rebuild on the more uh, non-frequent sandy areas mm. uh, which then means we will retrieve and rebuild but in places where we can safeguard we would rather uh, reinstate the dune system and uh, plant vegetation to, to curb the sand blowing. Oh, thanks very much, uh, Mary Nevo, mayoral committee member for the city of Cape Town. If climate change is real in case you had any doubts and we are already feeling massive effects of it.